as a series, Pokemon is already re well represented in Smash with a ton of characters, Pokeball Pokemon, and music tracks and spirits from each region and game installment. However, there is one side of the franchise that is not represented in Smash, that being the spin-off games. Aside from a Detective Pikachu spirit, the spin-off games have no representation in Smash. Out of all the spin-off games, Mystery Dungeon is one of the series that has quite a number of games under its belt, and in my opinion, will have a fighter that will work the best in Smash. As far as the fighter to represent Mystery Dungeon, or in this case, fighters, it would be the starter Pokemon you play as in most of these games, those being Riolu and Eevee. I picked these two as they are usually some of the most popular choices to play as in these games. I know a lot of fans are clamoring for Grovile to be the fighter if we ever do get Mystery Dungeon content, and don't get me wrong, I like him as well, it's just that, that in my opinion, the best way to bring in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon with a fighter would be a dual character, and it makes way more sense that the playable fighters you play as be the main characters and starter Pokemon you play as in the games. That's why I would call them the hero and partner in the title, it's because in the games, they don't have names, instead you name them yourselves, similar to the Dragon Quest heroes. In its basics, the hero and partner will be like the Ice Climbers, a duo character that you can control at the same time. However, unlike the Ice Climbers, when the lead you control is knocked out, you'll play as the other remaining character. Just like Ice Climbers, the other character can still take damage when you're not in full control of them. So when you play as the other character, they will already have some damage taken if they did get hit. The hero and partner will also use a lot of items in their attack replicate how you fight in the Mystery Dungeon games. Both will also be lightweight fighters. Before the fight starts, you can choose who gets to be in the lead. However, unlike Pokemon Trainer, you can't change this during battle. For basic stats, Riolu will move faster than Eevee, as well as being more powerful. Eevee will be heavier, so Riolu is easier to launch. Riolu moves will have more end lag, and his moves take longer to come out. Riolu's moves will have more range than Eevee's. Both can crawl, but neither can wall cling or wall jump when both are out. When Riolu is alone though, he can wall cling and wall jump like Lucario. Riolu's jab combo will be two jabs, ending with a palm strike. This will make him move a bit forward. Eevee's jab combo will be two quick headbutts, ending with a horse kick. This will make her move a bit forward. Riolu's dash attack will be just like Lucario's, a sliding kick. Eevee's dash attack will be a headbutt forward. Ryo's up tilt will be an overarching kick like Lucario. His side tilt will be a simple palm strike like Lucario. And his down tilt will be a leg sweep like Lucario. For his up diagonal tilt, Ryo will actually throw a Geo Pebble and will bounce off a couple of times. Eevee's up tilt will be an overarching head strike like Incineroar. Her side tilt will be a bite. Her down tilt will be her spinning around on the ground with her tail. She will have the same up diagonal tilt as Riolu. Riolu's side smash will be two palm strikes like Lucario's. His up smash will be punching or shoving a blast seed into the opponent making them launch upward. His down smash will be a leg kick. Eevee's side smash will be a strong tackle or headbutt to the opponent. She will have the same up smash as Riolu. Her down smash will have her do a powerful horse kick to the opponent. Riolu's neutral aerial will have him spinning his arms around like Lucario. His front air will be a front kick like Lucario. His back air will be one swipe back and forth with his tail. His up air will have him kick his leg up like Lucario. His down air will be him kicking his legs down like Lucario. For those of you wondering why Riolu shares so many basic attacks with Lucario, it's because I bet they would still work the best with Riolu. Plus, Pichu and Pikachu share many attacks, so it makes sense for Riolu and Lucario to share many attacks as well. Eevee's neutral air will have her extend her tail and limbs out while she's facing the screen or background. Her front air will be her kicking her back legs out forward. Her back air will have her do doing a horse kick. Her up air will have her curl up into a ball as well as attack with her tail upward. Her down air will be her striking her tail downward. Riolu will grab the opponent with both hands and attack with his knee. Eevee will grab the opponent with her mouth and fight down. Riolu's side, back, and up throws will have him throwing a hurl orb at the opponent. His down throw will be like Lucario's. Eevee's side, back, and up throw will be just like Riolu's. Her down throw will have her pushing the opponent to the ground and stomping on them with her paws. Riolu and Eevee share the same specials. Their neutral special will be partner attack, 
a character in the back will do a move. If Ryo is in front, Eevee will attack and vice versa. Eevee will do the move Tackle. He will jump forward and hit the opponent for head and jump back to where she was. If Eevee is in front, Ryo will perform Vacuum Wave. Ryo will stay in place and launch a tornado then moves forward. After a little bit, it will change into a boomerang shape. If one of them is knocked out, they will just use their move. For example, if Eevee is alone, she will do Tackle. As if Ryo was alone, he will do Vacuum Wave. Their side special will be the Pounce Wand. They will use the wand that launches an orb at an opponent. If it lands, they will teleport to that person and attack them like Lakari does when he counters a double team. They will also slide forward like Incineroar does when he uses the Alolan Whip. Their up special will be the Escape Orb. It will work like any other teleport recovery, similar to Zelda and Mewtwo's. Their down special will be Emeralds and Loop Blitz. It will work like Chulk's Monado Arts, and they have a recharge time and timer for how long they last. You can only have one Emerald out at a time, and choose which Emerald you want to use to R the left or the right control stick. The up Emerald will be Distance Dodge. Unlike the name, it just makes you move faster. Down Emerald is super critical, and increases the power of your smash attacks. Left Emerald is Power Boost Wipe, and increases the power of your attacks. Right Emerald is, is Toughness, which increases your defense. For their final smash, Riolu or Eevee will pull out an orb. That orb being a monster orb. This can be used anywhere on the stage and deal damage. The Pokemon that will appear will be Rhyperior, Golem, Galvantulas, Grambles, Goltorbs, Hariyamas, and Beedrills. The default will be Riolu and Eevee in their normal colors wearing a red scarf and pink handkerchief. They'll have one base off of Gengar and Ekans from Team Meaty, one will be the colors of Wigglytuff and Shadok, one will be based off the colors of Glovile and Dux Noir, one will be based off the colors of Tepeg and Axu, Ryu will also be wearing the scarf from Super Mystery Dungeon, the next all will be based off of the Moga and Dunsparce, one will be based off of Mawile and Weasel from the Expedition Society, this will also basically just be Ryu's shiny variant. The last alt will be based off of the final bosses from Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. And that does it for the hero and partner. Just like to say I was inspired by Brawl Fans 1's What If series to make this video. So a link to his channel will be in the description. I also made this as a response to Pokemon videos not being made every 4 video in the series anymore. So I made this as a just being hungry for more Pokemon What If Smash videos. I also don't take requests for what-if videos and only do these when I feel like it. Until then, see you guys next time.